All right, guys, are you ready? In and Out Burger versus Five Guys versus The Habit versus Shake Shack. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. I just wanted to do a little discussion video on an unusually heated topic of, you know, these top four burger joints. I just want to kind of get into it first by saying that I live in Southern California, which as you may figure out already is like a very, it's pretty much the home of In-N-Out. Um, it, it's a very heated debate. Like, you know, usually if you like one of these burger places, you like, it's very, you get heated about it. People have a very strong opinion and you know, people hold on to it. It's crazy. So I just want to say like, since I was a kid, In-N-Out, just In-N-Out all the time. And I, I really, really like In-N-Out, but lately, um, and it could be what I order there as well. Like the hype for In-N-Out is a little bit more than how much I actually like it. Like I really, really, really do like In-N-Out, but you know, when we're comparing it to all these things, um, you know, I might have a difference of opinion. So let's get down to it. In-N-Out was obviously my favorite before I tried anything else. Um, we ended up having, and let me go with a little disclaimer. I've never tried Shake Shack. I'm just putting it in here because Shake Shack is probably one of the most argued besides in and out it's kind of what I've understand is the East Coast in and out and I've seen a lot of Instagram pictures of people going to Shake Shack and it looks absolutely amazing so like I wanted to throw that in there and that's the one that I haven't tried but I have tried five guys a lot I have tried to have it a lot and I've tried in and out just an ungodly amount because that's just I what I've had since I was a kid and parents used to get it all that kind of stuff so anyway so my story liked in and out in and out's great nothing but positive things about it everybody likes it blah 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 five guys comes into town um and i almost like five guys better i remember talking to people talking you know this and that and you know it's better and like it's hard to say i guess for like different situations personally for me um I get a very plain cheeseburger, so like with Five Guys, like I could get like bacon also with it. I don't know, think in and out has bacon. That's kind of cool to have the option to have bacon. At Five Guys, the burgers are way bigger, so it's like if you're looking for, you know, overall fullness, Five Guys is probably a little bit better than in and out in that sense. And at Five Guys, as sure as you know, gives you just an ungodly amount of fries. And the fries, I honestly like with Five Guys, I feel like it's it's a trade-off with in and out like you could really go either way. Five Guys is just more food and uh, in and out is more uh, simplicity and kind of classic and like people like the animal fries from in and out See, there's all these things that like I don't get it in and out that like maybe that's why people like in and out the best. Like I don't really get animal fries. I don't get uh, the lettuce wrap cheeseburger. Like I don't get you know well, all the little stuff like I said I just hear like a double double plain you know, meat cheese bun with like, le um, with like ketchup and mustard. And like sometimes, oh actually most of the time I'll get a three by three or a four by four. That's just fun, that's what I like to do in and out. Sometimes I'll get a four by four and get no fries. That's kind of just what I like to do in and out. So having the five guys, I wanted, I was tempted to say five guys was better, but when you look at it, it's like they're so neck and neck. Like five guys fries are, you know, not bad, not great. Same with in and out fries, not bad, not great. The burger is kind of like, in and outs like I said, a little bit more lighter and simple and classic, and Five Guys is just more huge and bulky and lots of food, which is what a lot of people like. So we're doing all that. Then I'm hearing we get a habit, like it moves like, you know, like you know, a mile from us. And like, like from my understanding, like in and out was the king of fast food change. Like if you're gonna get a burger, in and out was the best. It would get the most hyped. Everybody liked it blah 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 is the best so like we're thinking like oh okay so now we just get these five guys uh you know what i mean that i'm considering is better and now i'm hearing the habit it's like the same thing like oh a lot of people like it better than in and out but so i'm almost kind of like exhausted like like i've gone all my life thinking that in and out is pretty much the best burger chain you just get me to think it's five guys or like five guys could argue it like i seriously doubt that the habit burger could you know what i mean take it from there and like you know actually it's just we're getting too much hype like it's getting overhyped it's not as good as it seems like it's going to be so I go to The Habit, and uh, The Habit is my favorite now. I'm just gonna get it right off the bat. Uh, if I were to choose, again, I have never been to Shake Shack, so I can't really say. But if I if I was gonna go get burgers, and it was just me, and I'm gonna go wherever I want, is out of these three, we'll say three, because Shake Shack doesn't count, I would go to The Habit every time, in my opinion, that's just me. I like their fries the best. I like the fact that they serve ranch 
a lot. I like that they have other options besides burgers, although I don't really get the options. I always get a burger. They give you the option to have the burger on sourdough. The burger is lighter than Five Guys, but heavier than In-N-Out. I just like I just like the habit the best. Now, I know it's a controversial thing. I'll probably just get dislikes just for even saying that, but that's literally what I like, and I'm so picky with things, and I'm, I'm so loyal. So it really had to be genuinely better for me to actually say, I will, that's what I want. If I had one of those burger places around me, you know, that was somewhat close for the rest of my life, I'd pick the habit. It sucks to say that because I have more memories with In-N-Out, like countless memories with In-N-Out. Like I never want In-N-Out to go away. I'd never not go to In-N-Out. But if it came down to it, that's when I like. I just love the habit. I like that. Like I just said, I'll repeat it again. Why I think, why I personally like habit the best. There's healthy options for people who want salads and chicken sandwiches and stuff. They have ranch dressing, which I like. They have, um, the fries taste the best, in my opinion, out of those three. The burger is a little bit heavier than in and out but like not that weighed down to five guys, which is perfectly in the middle. You do get more weight on your burger at the Habit. That's what you should know. Per patty, they are heavier. And um, you can get it on sourdough. I, you know, some people say, oh, I only have sourdough at breakfast and blah, blah, blah. I like sourdough pretty much for almost every bread. Like, yes, I'm, if I'm going to be so doing something healthy or cutting down or trying to go on some sort of diet, I'm going to get healthier bread. But if I'm going to get whatever bread I want, I want sourdough. And they don't have it at Five Guys, to my knowledge. And they don't have it in and out. So, anyways, guys, it's been a quick uh, burger comparison video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment what your favorite burger place is. Comment, like, if I pissed you off in any way by saying that, because I'll be curious. I have asked a lot of people what they think is the best, uh, maybe not a lot, maybe like five, six people, and almost everybody's hesitant to say, like they, they're just almost afraid to say the habit's better, or they say that for sure they like In-N-Out better. They like the habit, it's great, nothing bad, but they like In-N-Out, hands down 100%, and I could see that because of the... Maybe they get different things, you get the animal style, you know, maybe it's the memory thing. Like I said, if I had all memories erased of all these things, the one that would affect me the most is in and out because I've been there the most. So like I do have that in my heart, that loyalty, and they've never really gone bad. It's just that they're not as good, in my opinion, as the habit, and I just want to put that out there. So anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, then like the video. I'm rolling with the habit. What are you rolling with? I'll be interested to see you down below. Anyways, guys, but Josh TV, have a great day. Bye.